we have our nose. We have our fantastic curly Q beard. Now, how do we get these things together? One of the tricks about this whole thing is that this beard, it's just straight up hard to tell what's the center spine of this. All right, so if we look at it, things kind of want to pop forward and backwards and they don't want to fold down and be like, oh, look at this nice, tidy, perfect edge. And you know, that's okay. We can live with that. <laughs> Just be aware that you may have to do some, like some of this may have flipped down and it wants to spring up. If it wants to spring to the other side, let it spring to the other side because then it will actually hang down. And once we have it all put together and uh, and by that I mean sort of like draped up against the gnome body. It holds together, it gives the beard some depth, and the fact that that goes down sort of wants to, to be on that side is fine. So if things want to go flip to the other side, let them. What we're going to do right now is we're going to take the end we left on the nose for sewing up, and we're gonna use it for sewing up. I found it a little easier with this gnome to sew the nose on to the beard before sewing the beard to the nose. So that's what we're going to do. However, if this isn't working for you, you get to be the boss of your gnome and go do it in whatever order you want. So we've kind of got the two ends. We can tell where where the, the beard ends at least by where the it starts to be just clearly uh, just yarn, just an end. And what we wanna do is we wanna find the middle of that and we're gonna use whip stitch again and we're going to whip stitch the gnome to the center. So what I've done is I've, I've lifted it up, the curls are on the side they wanna be on, I've identified my middle, and I'm going to lay the gnome nose right on that top, and this top bit, this is the bit that we purled, like we created this, this thin little bridge of, of bit that's, that where we weren't casting on and binding off constantly, and that, wee little fragile um, top section. <laughs> That's what we're gonna be whip stitching. So I'm going to take my yarn, I'm going to go through the nose, and I wanna do that as close to the corner as possible so that that corner of that nose is attached down and firm. And then I'm just gonna go through the beard. So I'm gonna separate those so that you can see them a little bit better. So I've got the nose here, the top of the beard there, and then we're gonna pull through and then I'm going to lose my thread. So don't feel bad if you do this. This is such a big loop so that it can handle things like worsted weight that uh, when we're working with fingering weight, it is not a sign of incompetence if your ends keep popping out of your yarn needle. All right, so then like before, we're gonna whip around and come back. So I'm gonna come on the next bit of the nose. So I'm going through the, the top of the nose. We've already whip stitched this, so sometimes it gets a little uh, ornery and doesn't want our needle to come through. I'm going to go through the top of the beard. There we go. Whip around to the front. Do that again. Top, top. There we are. Now I know it looks like we're sewing the nose straight down. Don't worry. It all sorts out in the end. I'm going to go here now and then through the top of the beard. And the last thing I'm gonna do is the top of this, the corner of this beard is kind of um, wanting to fly off. So even though for stability's sake, we don't need to do any more stitches, I'm just gonna grab this corner because it's looking untidy and I'm just gonna go through again, just to like lock that corner down and just make it look nice. All right, so now we've got our nose, we've got our beard, we're feeling awesome. Now we gotta get rid of this end. Now I'm gonna knot it in the back of the beard here, going through this loop to make my own loop, and I go through it. And I'm gonna tie that nice and tight with the end. Then I'm actually gonna pierce th back through the beard I'll may maybe I'll just wander along it a little bit, but that'll make it harder for me to sew along because there's so little of the top edge of the beard. So I'm actually just gonna stab it down and back through the nose. Um, being careful not to lock <laughs> my, my beard t curl in. And then um, as ever, I pull it slightly taut 
I cut it right up against there and then the end disappears inside. So we now have two ends buried inside of our nose and uh, no one is the wiser. <laughs> oh. So that's all for attaching the nose and in our next video we'll talk about attaching this beard to the gnome. I hope you're having a great time and I wish you a happy gnoming, happy knitting!